is good y'all? Serial Films here. Today we're back at it with another video. Before we do get started on this video, I do want to say, go check out my boy, Center Max Customs. Uh, he does laser engraving, all that type of stuff, stippling. Go ahead and check him out. You can follow him on Instagram at centermaxcustoms.com. He is USMC veteran, owned and operated. Also, before we start the video, all firearms are clear. There's no ammunition in the room and we are in a controlled environment. So today I wanted to show you guys my new Glock that I basically got a steal on, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know too many people who can get pretty much three guns in one for the price of one. So um, we are gonna be discussing my Glock 32 as I showed you guys earlier. It was clear so when I went to the pawn shop, I, I usually like to scroll through my pawn shops you know, um, app and check to see what they got and I had seen that they had a Glock 32 Gen 4 and I went in, went in there for full intentions of buying a Glock 32, even if it was all black. So when I walked in there, I saw this bad whammer jammer. Went ahead and put it on layaway because if you guys, I'm not a rich dude. I'm a normal guy like most of the people that, you know, own guns. They work for the guns. So I put it on layaway, came back and picked it up around two months later. Uh, I did get it for about $440. And on the layaway description, it just said it came with a... Uh, two magazines and, and something else and I was kept wondering what what is that that it comes with about three weeks ago I went to go pick it up you know I went to go pick this bad baby up light does work it did come with this light custom serial code as well um, I went to go pick it up and when they were having a hard time finding the box for it and they finally come back with it and they have a box so if you guys don't know the Glock 32 is chambered and 357 sig and it's pretty much the same size as a Glock 23 or a Glock 19 same thing but when they come back with the box, they surprised me with this right here. That I, I was I was gonna buy this out of my own pocket, but they surprised me with this right here. You see that? You got Lone Wolf's nine millimeter conversion barrel. Came with that, and it came with Storm Lake Glock 23 40 cal barrel, as well as a magazine to be able to shoot that 40. I haven't shot 357 Sig out of this yet, so I can't really say how well the you know G32 is but I have been able to run some of this nine millimeter out of there and, and it, it flowed just fine. I did run that with a Magpul P mag so pretty sure if it cycles fine with a Magpul P mag it'll cycle fine with Glock OEM mags. It did also come with a Glock 32 magazine which is pretty cool for 357 sig and a Glock 31 magazine. This is the longer one as you guys can see holds 15 of 357 SIG and it came with this cool little extension that is already serial coded so it kind of sets off the entire gun. I just need to buy another magazine because this one is broken. The follower, it doesn't feed. If you push the follower down, it won't feed back up. I've tried messing with some of the springs, but it won't. Let me give you guys a better close up of this thing. Now let's talk about the G32. This right here, this little cap and gown or this little cap for the graduation stuff. That makes me assume that this was somebody's graduation gift, but I really don't like that. But I don't mind it at the moment because it's not my everyday carry. It's not, it's not something that means much to me. I just really, it for the benefits that I got out of this gun, it really doesn't matter to me that it has that on there because I mean, I paid $440 for this gun and it's basically a G19, a G32, and a G23. And I mean, you can't beat that. You can probably go get a G19 for the price of this. Now the light also came serial coded. This is a discontinued version of Enforce's, uh, not sure what light this is. I really don't know these lights too much. I, I'm more of a stream light guy, but uh, it does work. I popped the battery in there, it does work. It's a real clear light, as you guys can see. It blinds the camera. It's, it, I, I probably wouldn't buy this by choice over a stream light, but that was pretty cool that it came on there. All I gotta do is throw some night sights. One thing that y'all did get on me for, and, and it, it was just hideous, was this back plate. I, and I agree with you guys, but I mean, it is what it is. It came with that. I'm not gonna go ahead and take that off. It's, it, I'll take it off whenever I have a replacement for it. Right now, I have too many other builds in the way to focus on this one right now, especially since this one already came with the conversion barrel for the 40 and the 9. I have too much other builds on the way. And on this other side, let me show you guys on this other side. It did come with the Glock Store's extended slide release, so that was pretty cool too. And this stipple job, I'm not sure who did it or the Cerakote job, but they did a pretty good job. Look at the undercuts down here. Those undercuts are, they're pretty, they're amazing. It helps you hold on to the gun. Like I said, I did shoot this at the range the other day. I shot about 50 to 100 rounds of 9mm and it cycled just fine. So, only reason I didn't shoot it more was because I had my G19 out there. And let me show you my G19. We are clear. 
So the only reason why the G32 chambered in 9mm really doesn't like excite me or, or make me be like, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to carry, takes the range, is because I got this right here. A true G19 Gen 4, and she does have the Radiant Ramjet afterburner combo. I did, oh, Tyron CNC, Magwell. I did recently get this custom Cerakote job done. As you can see black multi-cam on the top, got the compensator painted black. And I went ahead and got a custom stipple job, golf ball pattern, and an undercut for this gun. So, yeah, um, shooting this, shooting 9mm out of this kind of feels like taking a step back from this because this is like, you know, it's comped. So that, shooting 9mm out of that is more snappier. This has pretty much the same texture, same grip. So this being less snappier and better grip is kind of like... Eh, it's a lot better than that in my opinion. We also did get um, in contact with Bear Creek Arsenal through their affiliate program and they did send us this threaded barrel for the G32. I'm going to show you all that. So they did send us this to review. Uh, I will be doing a review of this soon. Like I said, I haven't shot 357 SIG because it's kind of hard to find it around the city here locally. So I'm going to have to go ahead and order some ammo online here soon, probably in the next couple weeks. And I will be bringing you guys a review of that. Let's go ahead and pop that barrel in and I'll show you guys how it looks. There we go. We got Bear Creek Arsenal's 357 SIG. Throw a barrel on this baby and she looks, she looks good. I don't know. This gun really caught my eye into wanting to get into custom guns and everything. So honestly, this having getting this is what made me go ahead and pull the trigger and just go ahead and do the job on my G19 because... I don't know, I just wanted to be different, you know, especially my, my G19 was a already a little bit different because it, it is in Battlefield Green and a lot of you people don't understand that Glock being in Battlefield Green is actually a little, little, little bit rare. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit rare, like I said, and it is way nicer than OD Green. OD Green is hideous in my opinion, but you see we got that barrel in there. Plans for this build are I do want to do a black mag wall on here. Do want to see if my gunsmith could somehow fix this stippling because you know the personal on there is kind of like nah I kind of want to make it my personal on there so I want to see if he can fix that but if not it's not too much of a big deal because this is a range tour I probably won't be carrying this for my everyday carry um, I do want to change the hideous back plate and I do want to throw some sights on here like I said I won't be changing much on this gun because I mean it feels like this gun is like taking a step backward from my G19 but we'll go ahead and keep that light on there like I said if anything, I'm just going to be doing sights, backplate, magwell, and trying to fix this personalization on the stipple. I love this thing. I, it, I know a lot of you guys love it. You guys are waiting for the content to come out. And believe me, I've been searching in the stores looking for 357 SIG, but I cannot find none. So that will be coming up in the next weeks. But let me know what y'all think. I pretty much got this Glock. I got a G19, a G23, and a G32 all in one for sub 450 i paid 440 dollars for that so i don't think you can beat that especially whenever in today's market all these guns are so expensive so i got three different calibers nine millimeter 40 cal 357 sig all for the price of one literally my g19 for my g19 i paid 420 dollars and it just came chambered in nine millimeter it came with nothing it came with one magazine and the box and that was all so I think that this was a really good steal. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think, but I think this was a steal, and I'm happy to give you guys content with this. Let me know any content that you guys do want to see with this. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and go ahead and check out my boy Center Mask Customs to get any of your laser engraving needs done.